Now, 94,000 teachers in private schools have been laid off in the wake of the coronavirus pandemic across the country, according to data provided by the Ghana National Council of Private Schools. Most of these teachers, who earn between 250 to 400 cities, have also not been paid salaries from March till date. Here's a report by Sarah Parkwu. Private schools contribute 43% of the country's education sector with over 400,000 workforce. Since the closure of schools in March, 94,000 teachers from 4,300 schools have been laid off without their monthly stipends from mostly Greater Accra, Ashanti and Eastern regions. Some of these teachers say life has become difficult for them as breadwinners. The Ghana National Council of Private Schools is confident over the readiness of private schools to start operation when the restrictions are lifted, but worried government is yet to support private institutions in their plight. The one that we can confirm, because we have received their unique details, and we can show them to you, is the 94,000 teachers from 4,300 schools that have been laid off. We have shown these figures to the finance ministry that they need support so that these teachers can come to their teaching. And the danger associated with this is that these are the numbers that we have received. We cannot talk about those people, which they haven't sent their data to us. Although the teachers are enthused about the resumption of academic activities, they want it to be done gradually to avoid a more disastrous situation. The Conference of Heads of Private Schools is calling for a pilot program with final year students who are due to write their exams. According to them, it will be deadly to open at once. We are very big classrooms. Instead of still maintaining a, a normal status quo of 50 or whatever, now you just reduce it to like 25 in a room. Same way in the dormitories, you can equally reduce the numbers because they are few. First year, second year are not there. When we do this, we're able to study the situation practically. The conference says it cannot guarantee the laid off teachers their jobs back. Those who have not laid theirs off, the assurance we have had from some of our schools is that when everything returns to normal, you surely get your, your job, no twist about that. But as to whether there will be a back kind of pay, that is where the, 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 the challenge is. There's a tendency we may reduce the total number of teachers we, we, we are using. Aside the lack of funds to pay teachers, the pressure from relevant authorities on the schools to honor their tax obligations in these times is another concern. Apart from teachers being on you for their salaries, you have GRA also chasing you. You have SNET also chasing you. If you are parents who did not pay anything at all for second term, we are pleading. Any amount, any penny, any peanut that has just come in your hands at the moment, try and pay something small to the school. Some parents have expressed mixed reactions on the reopening of school in the nearest time. My child attended school at Valation here. And in one class, they have a 70. So I don't know how this uh, social distancing and all those things are going to help the school. So for me, I don't believe it's a, a good idea. We want them to reopen soon. There are a lot of things happening while they are home. Government should do everything for them to resume so that we will be free. The numbers of confirmed cases keep rising. How can we allow them to go to school? I won't send them because I won't be at peace. We don't know when it's going to end, but uh, at least we expect that the thing, something should come down before the children. If they open school today, me, I won't let my children go to school. Consultations are ongoing to seek inputs from stakeholders on how best the school environment can be made safe for all when schools eventually reopen.